Today's card, Nine of Wands, Baba Yaga. Wow. That was a crazy card. I saw that this morning, sitting with my daughter, Laura, and she was like, that is everything I just felt, you know, the struggle and everything behind the card and the artwork so amazing on that card, wasn't it really? Wow. And it really describes what everybody really is feeling, and you know, and so, but it's also a wonderful card. All cards that maybe talk about struggle are also the cards saying, you got this. And it's your guides saying, hey, your spiritual guides going, you got this. You're so light. You're connected to the heavenly uh, realms. You, you don't need to worry. Give the control to us. And we will help you. But you got to trust the divine. And Baba Yaga, that's the young girl trying to go through this world. Like, here's this lady and telling her, you know, trying to kill her. And making, you know, want her to stay down. But she's trusting something so far beyond that she'll be fine. She's fine. So I want to bring in the one deity, our Sinan Master, that has gone through so much. He's like, to me, the master of all of the stuff bad that could happen. It seems like it would happen to Loki. So Loki's going to take this one and bring it all to make sense to everybody with some spiritual wisdom at the end of his message. Loki and she's corrupt. I wish this was not corrupt, but yeah, for the most part, I have been, if anything bad's going to happen, it's going to happen to me. I am like the walking spokesboy for is it going to happen? And yes, it will. You're going to be chained up for centuries, Loki. Oh, you will be. But I digress. So in times like this is when you really trust the divine and you really just give that up. When I try to take control, when any situation I was ever in, I thought I knew a whole lot more than anybody else. And every single time, my mind and my intellect could not concept what to do. Because, you know, it's everything else that usually happened. You know, is magic going to happen here? But you don't have time to go through every single magical key or this and that. And when you're here, when I'm here and earth realm when I used to be able to be here I couldn't use my magic I had to use my wit and I didn't trust the divine I didn't trust any of it because I trusted myself and my decisions and I'll tell you that's not smart that wasn't smart a lot of the trouble I got into if I just simply gave control to a higher power I would have been all right and yes I can do that as well I know you know all the stories Gotta remember some of this is fictional stuff you hear about me. And the truth is, I had to learn to trust. And it's going to keep coming up until you trust the divine. And you have the courage to give up that control and give that control to a higher power. And I understand that is difficult. Especially when you're like me and you like things done your way, not everybody else's way. But through time and time and time again, I did learn to trust something higher. So right, close your eyes and look at this situation in front of you and look at this for really what it is. What is it that this situation is trying to tell you? What's the lesson involved in this? Is it as bad as you're thinking it is? Because sometimes your mind will make it worse than it really is. And ask your spirit guides, give me the truth behind what is going on. Give me the truth, the highest truth. And the, your guides will show you the highest truth. And they will show you how to get past whatever you are afraid of. Or have, have this courage built up to get past whatever. And you will see that it is not going to be as bad as you're thinking. And if you feel it's going to be as bad, do it anyway. Do it afraid. And... Afterwards, it'll be something of triumph that you can teach somebody else to get through. And that's what you all are here to do is to teach somebody else. You know, I triumphed over this. I had my nine of wands. I had my Baba Yaga story here. And everybody felt like everybody was trying to keep me down. But I did it because I trusted a higher power. I trusted that. And I got through it. Now here 
you can do it as well. And you can be that message of hope to somebody else. Because all you humans are actually teachers. All of my horrible experiences, yeah, they weren't fun going in the middle of all of it. It wasn't like, oh, I love, you know, all the capturing, beatings, and I can't even tell you. But it made me a better teacher. And it made me a better, so I can teach others, don't do what I did. Don't go fight in Asgard and think you know what you're doing. You gotta believe in something higher. And when you do, it's so much better. And that's when the young girl in the Baba Yaga, when she believes that she can get past all of the stuff that's being thrown her way, life, it's all of the lessons, but she gets through it. Because she trusts something much, much higher than that. She trusts something more, and she gets through it. Even though the, the circumstances might look dire, the divine has something much, much more planned for you that you can't even see. The divine is something that is so amazingly beautiful that it would be hard for the human's eyes to concept it. So with that, dear human, I really hope <coughs> that this will help you today and everything. So remember that you are really, really loved. Yes, even by, you know, Loki here right now. Like, oh my God. You're loved by the creator of the universe. And remember the story today as a lesson that I've got this. What's your lesson? Breathe through it and know how loved you are and how brave you are. You came here out of so many other starter seeds that didn't want to be here and you chose to be here. You're very brave. You've got this. Don't let nothing stand in your way and stop you from going and pursuing what your life lesson is in this particular incarnation. So much love. See you all tomorrow on tomorrow's Medi Meditation and Spiritual Advice.